Whoa. Oh, hi. I probably oh, should have just called you directly. That would have made more sense. Yeah, I did wonder. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you. <laughs> do you think I should switch and do that? Yeah, maybe. Okay. <laughs> okay. Whoops. That was huge brain moves. Don't worry, it how do I even... There we go. Glad you called me, because I don't know why I couldn't figure it out. I was like, it tried ringing, and then I was like, hmm, that didn't seem to work. <laughs> Yikes. It's fine. Pro stream, no kidding. What okay. is the pro stream? Uh, oh, I'm gonna go get my angle to start up. It took me forever, so hopefully it will load <laughs> for you. To okay. answer your question, Harmy, yes. There are four different... What do they call them? Harvest checks? Goodness. Harvest checks. Harvest checks you need to pass. So one of them is hitting the animal in the vital. One is using the correct ammo. One is basically not shooting the animal in the head, which just go with that. That takes too much explanation. And the last is shooting it no more than two times. There's a good question. Maybe you can answer as well, Mel. What is the biggest downfall for the angler, you think? I think it's the lack of content at the minute, honestly. I think the lack of species diversity is a problem, and I hope that that's something that will get addressed soon, personally. Because I think once you've caught a diamond of everything, then what do you do? Yeah, without a, you know I mean? without a trophy lodge or an aquarium or even like yeah. a journal or something, you do kind of yeah, run exactly. out of of motivation, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Motivation, that's it. I'll have you know I was trying to nap when you called. Well, I was trying to call when you were napping. How about you show How some rude. respect? How dare thee try and nap? Stay awake during these streams, I'll tell you. The worst. How 100% do you... of the time. There we go. I don't remember how to play this game anymore. Yeah, I might be a bit rusty. <laughs> Especially seeing as I've just come from a completely different game. Was that a fishing game? Oh my no, god. We were playing, playing Conan Exiles. Oh my god, that was ridiculous. What happened? So I used a spinnerbait. There was a little right. tiny juvenile largemouth right under the dock, and I cast it out. I don't know what it was. 30 feet and he just like <laughs> he took off and just yeeted out there a million miles an hour it's better than the really slow swimming they did oh. but I don't know the swimming the tail movement didn't quite match the <laughs> speed he was going <laughs> did it yeet <laughs> yeet at you straight away <laughs> it, well it was going away from me because like it was right underneath me to begin with but oh, God. basically yes <laughs> right oh we need to join through steam right uh i think it's apex connect what well let's see if this works there's a pike just flying in as well wow so oh god that's gonna snap my line i don't know what i have on this but it's not appropriate for Pike. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Apex is actually working for once. Wow. Wow. That was good. Which one has the... Okay. This is the good one. Okay. I don't oh, have gosh, a... I... What? I was just going to say, I have no idea why I'm over here, what I was doing last time. It may have been the last time we were on stream. It may very well have been. I don't know. I've been so busy. I don't right, mind these people. fish eating around, but being able to see them do it is probably bad. I'm so curious to see now. You can actually, with like steady retrieve lures, you can catch fish at like three and four times speed. Oh, they you... actually like swim now. Yeah, you don't have to crawl along. That's a plus. I just think that being able to see them 70 feet out yeeting across the surface to your lore probably isn't the best. That sounds absolutely hilarious. It is pretty great to see, I'm not gonna lie. Where are you? Um. I joined your session. I'm at a trailhead. Is this you? Nope. But that is a guy that basically shares my name. Imagine that. Imagine. Where are you? Uh. Good question. 
Where am I? <laughs> oh, I'm down by Emerald Lake Plateau Outpost. Okay, I see that outpost. I do, do not, not see... see me. No. I wonder if maybe Apex didn't actually put us in the same session. It was a bear I will try again. Okay. I was gonna try to catch this one decent bass, and then if you can't join, I'll attempt to join you. Professional streaming. Always. There's the bass. Always. It's the same as last time. I don't remember what happened last time, but I know that we were making the same professional streamer comments. Look at that guy go! Oh, it's because we were not wearing any clothes last time. Oh, that's right. And it took us forever to find each other because we couldn't join each other. Good old... Call the wild angler. Yeah, it won't let me join you. It says unknown error occurred. So unless you are in this session and it's confused. So many features. Features is an interesting word. Oh, there oh. you are. You found me. Yeah. Hey. You finally spawned in. It took that long. Hello, fishing guru from Taylor Sackles. I've been here, here the entire time. I've picked out a nice spot for you got banned oh, for plagiarism. What? I accidentally picked up the float fishing tutorial thing ages ago, and I refused to do it because I know how to float fish, but every time I fast travel, she starts talking again. <laughs> oh no. It's Sophie from Taylor's Tackles. I I'm have... to teach you about float fishing. I'm like, please stop. <laughs> I, just, I don't want this. You don't have that turned off yet? Well, I've stopped her actually talking, but I have the subtitles on just in case something oh, interesting Oh, okay, I gotcha. And so it comes up all over my screen. How does one get there? Oh, how do we get this out? J or Q? There we go. Ha. Huda woman? It, it's, uh... Huda woman. It, Me it's, woman. <laughs> it's the great one stealer. Oh, don't even. <laughs> Wow, Flinter. Just wow. <laughs> oh, oh. Having to remember which buttons do which things. Oh my. <laughs> okay, I didn't even. Is that a bass? I have no idea. Yeah, apparently, smallmouth bass. 12 XP. Pretty chunky fella. 5.65 pound largemouth? That's thick. thick. I need. What do I have with me? I need one that is not so easy to bring them in with. Oh. Now I see the problem. I think I had put this four pound line on this reel to try to help Kyla not spend money on one that wouldn't work. That's partially why we <laughs> had that line snap with the pike before. Oh. Oh, with all the pike, I remember. Oh my gosh, I see what you mean about the fish. They are indeed very fast now. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's good, but they need to speed up the animation, not just the speed that the fish <laughs> moves. Travel. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've got gold mountain whitefish. Nice. Is That's that mistress? one of the better ones. No. There you go. Yes. We have a command for such mistress. things. You am mistress? I am mistress. Uh, moose syrup. Yes. You think moose syrup would be good? I bet it wouldn't be. That sounds like a weird form of gravy to me. Moose gravy. Moose <laughs> gravy. Moose <laughs> gravy. You gotta be careful if you have some slick salesman offering you that. <laughs> <laughs> Kyla's over there shaking her head. <laughs> Oh dear. This is just what fishing games cause. You have to talk about something. God, talk about all the things. I was hoping the things. game wouldn't be like Rapolo Pro Bash Fishing where you can see your lore underwater. You're saying you want it to be visible or you don't want it to be visible? There's a thick bass. I must admit, the game that I've played where you can look at your lore underwater. It is quite a cool feature. I do kind of like it. It's not maybe the most realistic thing, but especially when you're trying to like learn the depths and stuff, it's kind of kind of fun. It reminds me a little bit of Sega bass fishing. You could see your lure underwater, and I don't know why necessarily, but 
it's neat to be able to see like what action you're doing with your lore actually pay off. Yeah, exactly that. Because like when you're playing like a hunting game like The Hunter, it's like, oh, you see the impact of your shot, you see that animal, and that's why you shoot it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But when you're fishing, it kind of is like you don't see much of it. So especially from like a content perspective, being able to see the entire fight and stuff underwater is actually quite cool. I think. I think that's why I've kind of began to look at this game more as a streaming game because it's one thing to like interact with chat or sit in Discord and and talk along as you're trying to catch fish, but trying to make a video even halfway entertaining when a big chunk of it is I'm fighting this fish that's not difficult to fight but it's going to take me 12 minutes to bring in yeah, it just doesn't totally quite what you mean. flow well yeah I totally get what you mean by that it's a, a difficult one because you, you kind of you want to show the fight but then there's not a whole lot going on other than slight rod movements and stuff yeah yeah it can be a difficult line to walk with that kind of concept. A difficult fishing line to walk? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I can hear Kyla shaking her head. <laughs> the wind blowing <laughs> through her head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Really funny. <laughs> Listen, there's something fishy about us both making fun. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, a rainbow. I do like the rainbow trout, but I'm probably biased just because it was the first diamond I caught. I think the only thing about them that I'm unsure of is like, they look, I don't know how to describe it, plasticky? This is a nice yeah. small mouth. They do, they kind of look like a replica fish. Like, yeah. Almost like if you were to take a replica fish and then spray it with like shellac or something that's like that you would put on deer antlers to mount them that makes them a little bit shiny yeah I get what you mean I totally understand what you mean by that and like they should look shiny they're they just came out of the water but oh there's now a sixth speed that you can realize that was never a thing was it no oh and I got a bite at that oh I have to try that that sounds different yeah I kind of like what well, one thing that's oh, wow. for sure, you don't end up with so much dead space of this, like, trying to get this one fish to come in and get your lords. It's, it's much quicker. I like that, honestly. Did but I like skip you your fist, Danny? Could, I did, sorry. If they could just... No, it's okay. It's I can't see the chat, so you're responding. I don't want to interrupt. It's all good. Um, but yeah, I was just going to agree and say that, yeah, it would be good if they could increase the fish wiggle when they're doing, like, they're speeding up. Yeah, because they like, just fly through the water. <laughs> just like it's been projectile fired at you. <laughs> they need to do the wiggle and actually speed up. And it but shouldn't no, be that's... too bad to speed up the animation itself. I mean, they have the swimming animation in, like, even in the, uh, the handbook screen and stuff where you look at them. Yeah. So they have that animation, just make it faster. Yeah, and that would really help, I think, immersion-wise. Yeah, I agree. The me six bot banned you for plagiarism. I'm going to have to look into that after the stream, because I don't even know how that's a thing. Plagiarism? Ooh, that was a big fish that jumped. Did you see that? I did not. Whatever that was, was chunky. Get him. That was a big fish. This I will attempt to catch it. Is another I decent bass? Oh god. I like the bass. I think the bass are cool. My legs don't exist. Your legs don't exist? Below the surface of the water, I'm legless. Yeah. That's the thing. If you stand oh. in the water, it's just you don't have legs. That is how it works in real life, so I guess that adds up. Yeah. If you can't <laughs> see the legs because they're hidden by the water, they just don't exist. It's the same... Oh. I don't know what happened on that cast, but that wasn't right. It's the same as the the whole, you know, if a tree falls in the forest and no one's around. Yeah, exactly. Your lack of legs exactly. is why you're not smiling? <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't be smiling if you had no legs. <laughs> the camo trousers. 
Eat some. Is you, maybe it's because I have no legs and it's making my character shorter than he's supposed to be, but every fish I'm catching is getting yeeted out of the water when I pull it up with the rod. Really? <laughs> the, like, landing animation, sort of? I know there isn't, like, a proper one, but it, like, yeets it over my head. <laughs> Perfect. Like, I just, I feel like this game has so much potential. That's my thing with it. I really feel that they could do a lot with it, but it's just, at the minute, it needs more, if that makes sense. That's why I'm determined to not just completely give up on it or anything, because I do think it's likely to get there, but you can't, for me at least, like, I can't tell somebody, yeah, go get this, it's, it's the best fishing game out there. Like, I enjoy it, but I don't play fishing games, so I don't think I'm a very good source for that yeah definitely since i i was recommended to go and try other fishing games because it was something that i've always sort of observed from afar and i never really thought that i would be so into it and then i got recommended hey go try this just give these other games a try and you'll see why people are saying some of the things they're saying and yeah basically now i can see exactly what people mean and it's not like it's a bad game like i said i just feel like there's so much potential in it. The, the ability to be able to walk freely is something I haven't seen in any other game. And the size of the map is brilliant. But if we could just have more content on the map, like more species on this map, then I think they'd really sort of hit the nail on the head with it. But that's just what I feel, personally. Yeah, that would... To begin with, like you said, they're kind of in a class that are just for the map size and the open world concept yeah, but exactly. the problem is it's still a fishing game and the fishing still has to be up to snuff yeah, and it's right. probably not quite yet exactly I think there's a lot of stuff that once they improve upon it it will be really good there's like the foundations are there sort of thing you can see that it's there but it just needs the work and the attention and I'm really interested what this update I think they said late October was it for this big update that they're talking about oh really um, they said something about like a content update coming soon and I feel like they said late October but I might be I might be misremembering but I'm keen to see what it was because Jaxi said or oh, a lot of people are speculating that it's going to be a DLC but you'll have to sort of wait and see what it is, but kind of hinting that it's maybe not going to be a DLC. And so that makes me curious. Because I'd personally just be super happy if they threw like 12 more fish species on the map. Yeah. That would make it so much better. I like catching these chonky bass consistently. Yeah. Bottom boy makes a good point. Hard to make the selling point of a fishing game the fact that you can climb a mountain and crash off of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly that. And also the as much as like I get why I get what they were trying to go for, but as much as I get that, I really dislike the like the ranger missions and stuff. Because they're not related to the fishing. If they made say they made a new map, right? and they decided they still wanted those kind of missions where you can go and do missions for like a warden but make them fish focused like go here and catch a certain number of predatory fish because we're trying to get the numbers of fish back up in that area or something there you go. rather than go here and point out this plant that's invasive that would make a lot more sense however right if they make another map they have to keep the creepy step uncle warden guy Oh, no, they don't. My I book. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. He's so creepy. Please, no. He is. <laughs> it just, I just don't like it. Oh, dear. I, like, maybe, maybe it's, like, I really don't want this to sound like I'm trying to say anything bad about the voice actor, because I'm not, but maybe it's the way, like, he read the lines or something. I, yeah. I can't imagine it was written to sound like that, but my goodness, he is just the creepiest, I almost called him a creature, might as well, <laughs> character that I've ever met in a game ever. Yeah. Ooh. What'd you get? A T-Rex. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that 
not as loud. Hey, you pick. The T-Rex fish. Yeah. Very famous. The, the Billy Bob Bass T-Rex fish. I still want to get one of those and hook it up to a sound system like I showed you. That was brilliant. They are just the best things ever when you can alter them. I just love it so much. We had just one. Have all of my music through it. If, ooh, what, the, what the heck was that? That was a bigger fish than I thought. A trout. Ooh, a trout. I'm still legless though. Um, <laughs> we had one growing up, like with just the regular songs. It was <laughs> like, "Don't worry, be happy." What was the other one? Something about a river. I don't know. What's up, Haxter? <laughs> Something about a river. Or a creek or running water of some kind. <laughs> My brother might still have it. I'm determined that once yeah. me and my fiance have got our own place, that's we're gonna have one of those. Definitely. If you could like hook it up, <laughs> did the guy in that video have it hooked up to Amazon Alexa or whatever? Yeah. That's the way to do it. That was what it is. Pick. It's taking the river. I will pay for someone to hook one up to my Amazon Alexa. I would just love that so much. I just find it hilarious. I don't know what it is. But singing in one of those fish, singing like opera, is just <laughs> the best. <laughs> Are all of the like personal assistant things, like there's the Google Dot or whatever, there's Siri, are they all female voices? Because if you could get some hilarious male voice with the fish as well. Oh, imagine. You could have both of them. And have one male and one female, and then have them duet, or... Billy Bass, I turn mean... on the lights. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's when you hear it talking in the middle of the night, oh, and you no. haven't said anything. <laughs> <laughs> Unlocking oh, door. so funny. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Army? You can change the voice? Okay. I've never heard it other than like the really? default. Really? Yeah, I've only ever he heard the female voice. Oh, this opens up so many possibilities. <laughs> oh, that'd be so brilliant. You need one at every door with a motion mm -hmm. sensor to greet people as well. <laughs> that might be a better security system than any lock ever. <laughs> Just a fish that like turns and looks at you. <laughs> Welcome to... It's the <laughs> the fact that they do turn and look at you. They do. Like, <laughs> Could be different accents as well. So I've heard like the text to speech oh, no. things. Is it those voices? Oh, you can have an array of accents throughout the house. That would be <laughs> just glorious. You have to put like a, a little flag. You know the <laughs> the. Was it a zebra, I think, that was like, they oh, mounted yeah. it to, with the, in the shape of the continent yes. of Africa? You have to have <laughs> the flag as the plaque that the fish is on, <laughs> with the accent. Oh my gosh, this would be amazing. You're serious Australian? <laughs> there you go. That's amazing. I might have to boot up my <laughs> so Alexa just to mess around with the voices. I don't know what it is that's so funny to me about it being hooked up to a Billy Bass fish, though. It's just like... Genius. I really think it is the fact that they move. It just makes it <laughs> hilariously creepy. Oh, the, the one that I sent you, and it was the one singing, and then it pans out to, like, a whole... <laughs> yes. A whole quartet or whatever it was. Yeah. Oh, and then they moved at the perfect time in time with the song. Just brilliant. How can you even make them like make them move at the right time? That's got to be some insane skill. Yeah, I don't. Um, that's above my pay grade. Just, just awesome. I Take see. My you money. Say. Take my money and give me the fish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if they sold those things, oh my gosh, they'd be so popular. They could do incredibly well. It's all oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. It should be pretty repeatable. I, maybe the, the issue would be the things themselves were already a product? Maybe. I don't know how that works. 
<sighs> oh, I just caught cool. a Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm coming to see it. <laughs> Are you still over by the dock? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna be better off fast traveling. <laughs> I could barely see what it was when I pulled it up, no wonder. <laughs> There's the so naked the guy world. over here. Oh, that's not me. I'm closed, as far as I can tell. Is that a bass? <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's the weight of it? Uh, 0 0.27 kg. Huge. The biggest bass ever. Hey. The juvenile fish are a fantastic addition to oh, this God. game. What the heck is going on? Over I don't there? know. I'm running right away. <laughs> Run away, Sandra. I don't want it. There's uh, that Billy Bob bass. I think the one I had was 0. 0.34. Am I in kilograms? I don't even know. No, you're in pounds, aren't you? I think. I'm fairly sure you are, because it confuses me every time. I had that sunfish probably the last time I played this game that weighed 0. 0.09 pounds or something. <laughs> the best. That's the fish you want. The really tiny one. And then you get that mounted on a huge plaque. Yeah. This fish fought me for 12 hours. Oh, of course. Dental floss is line. <laughs> that, that video I sent you where someone was fishing with like, what was it, like a Barbie rod or something? Some kid's Ooh. toy fishing rod, do you remember? Yeah. And he caught a really big fish with it, and he's just holding onto the line for absolute dear life. The rod the probably rod isn't. Itself broke. Yeah. <laughs> probably not rated for much. <laughs> My dad calls Big Bass Bertha like every big bass he hooks into, he like caught Big Bertha. Is that right? Got to name every fish you catch. I wonder if. Lake trout fishing is like way quicker now because of these fish that just yeet along. Assuming the lake trout do that underwater, it might not take nearly as long to hook into them. You know, that's a very interesting thing to, to bring up because now I'm interested. Shall we go find out? Let's go play with the lake trout. Catch another diamond and make me sad. Look, I knew that that thing was big and I still don't know how yours wasn't a diamond when it was doing the same thing. Wasn't yours like just 1% of it being a diamond or something ridiculous? I think I had like a 34 and a half pounder and 35-ish seems to be diamond. Wait, is this the right leg? No, the top left. Which one's the really deep one? It's top left, right? Uh, yeah, top left. Okay. That one's super deep. If it'd let me fast travel, that'd be great, because it just keeps going over to you. Okay, there we go. I wish that was improved. The ability to select things on the map, like outposts. Because when the warden is at the main outpost where you can buy stuff, it is so irritating, because trying to select to fast travel to there is nigh on impossible. At least on controller. I don't know what it's like on the keyboard and mouse. I haven't had too many issues. It's almost the same as Classic, though. If there is another player or anything in the way, it's suddenly 12 times worse. Yeah. Hey, Cugs, thanks for the two months up. Welcome back. What was that? Looked like this long... Looked like an eel surfaced. Imagine. They just add eels. Randomly. Eels are so cool. Oh. I like eels in every fishing game. You've lost your clothing. I've what? I've lost my what? Your clothing. You got Again. gloves, shoes, and hat though, so I guess we're good. I've forgotten how to drive the boat. Oh, okay, that <laughs> we're way. Going backwards to start. <laughs> Look, I was in all the buttons to see what moved. <laughs> Every game has all the different controls, and I only have one small brain to be able to work with. <laughs> my favorite, we were trying to skin a deer in in the barn there's a chain hoist in there so the way to raise or lower there's a big loop chain pull on one side it goes up one side it goes down makes sense I can't remember what deer it was for but my brother tried to raise it and somehow picked the same one twice and his quote was <laughs> i only had two choices and i picked the wrong one twice <laughs> 
that one of my favorite things ever. Relatable. Happened. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can catch him within like 12 seconds. Well, the how long does it take to drop? That yeah, still takes a while. while. I mean, I've got 85 meters that here. 283 so is... feet, so I think we're about the same. Yeah, so it's pretty deep here. Oh, I've got a, you've got a jig for these, haven't you? Oh. They need to change so that I'm not focusing on the tip of the rod, please. I just have a little spinner size 2 that tends to work. You have a spinner? Yeah, I just For constant these? retrieve. Yeah. What? I can... Can I show it? When I'm casting, I can't. There's a weird thing that's happening where as this is falling, my rod is twitching just ever so slightly. It's almost realistic. I don't... Probably not that much. I don't see it, but then on your end it probably looks different. Hmm. That's just the big old diamond lake truth just poking it about as it goes down. Just sniffing. Like, what is this? <laughs> Trying to catch me. Why did it just stop? It's still 80 feet from the bottom, but it's suddenly, like, really slowly dropping the last bit. You hit a fish. It's just on the back of a fish. <laughs> a shark. A shark. I guess I'll start retrieving. I don't know. Where's my... See, I hope... That oh, I did! We... What'd you do? I really was on a rock or something, because my drag was suddenly at 100%, which means Burr. it was against something. That's cool. That's actually kind of neat. Anyway, sorry. Right. I can't remember. Oh, sharks. One night. Um, yeah, shark fishing in this game could be cool. Like, you imagine, like, a desert island that we can walk around on and fish and drive about around. I think that would be pretty cool, honestly. Especially with the size of the maps they make, they could really incorporate some neat little ideas with that. Definitely. I didn't do that little rod waggle my character did that himself i wonder if that's an immersion thing or just a random bug what's up crow trying to catch the fish i really struggle with this if i had known that you could use what you were oh. saying you were using <laughs> i don't even have the correct rod so well what did you just cast well, I accidentally used the best spin casting one. Oh. Now I have the bait caster. 300 feet. All right, round two. What do I think of the fish moving fast? Now that's fine, but the, the tail needs to wiggle to the proper speed for it to make sense because they just, it looks, Mel said it best, it looks like they got shot out of a cannon. <laughs> Shoo! <laughs> <laughs> That's the best image in my head. Right now. <laughs> Underwater whistling, just. <laughs> <laughs> if there was a bubble trail. Oh, wow. That would be hilarious. <laughs> oh, just someone under the water really doesn't like fishermen. <laughs> just firing them all at us. They do. We oh, we good. must have caught, I don't know, 20 or 30 fish in the 20 minutes we were standing there, Scarecrow. It, it does make it probably too fast to catch and land fish now. Especially the little ones when you've got decent gear. Yeah. You like, can make I it challenging. Like yeah, you can make it challenging, but I'd like to see a gold or a diamond bass put up a lot more fight than they do. Because from everything I've heard, Bass fight like heck. They, they do. just fight and fight and fight and fight. And I can just pull them straight out of the water, and that just feels weird. Yeah, it should be... There's kind of two ways to tackle it. It should be that a fish of, say... We'll just make it easy. A 10-pound fish should never bite on line heavier than maybe 12 pounds, and then you have an easy solution. Other than maybe some exceptions, bass actually usually don't care. They'll just hit... It could be on the end of a rope if they're hungry enough. But 
for the most part, I think that kind of solves it because then you're required to use a certain reel and a certain rod setup and you have to get a decent fight out of most fish. Make the fish, like, line shy. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with this. That is also true, Zach. If you catch a really big trout, they almost they might as well just, like, <laughs> fall over and just lay on their side and get brought in. And then the little ones, native trout in particular, you'd think you have, like, a four-pound fish. Ooh, this, this lake trout's taking line. I'm not a, a high drag number, but that was interesting. I try think, stop, and go, because my jigging didn't work. <laughs> I'm I kind of like all this. The strokes. What's your drag? Percentage? 65 now, and he was. We just had that standstill, having it again. Mm. See, when I had my diamond one, which is the only thing I have to compare it to, I was on 90 to 95 percent drag. <clears throat> and then I was one? having standstills. I'm up to 90. We'll see. If you're having standstills there, it's either a huge gold or a diamond. It's that was a my experience. Oh, boy. come on, big lad! Down on the range if you need me. Is there Chinook? Uh, no, but there's a hook. Get it? Cause <laughs> a hook. <laughs> Thirty-four pound gold. Listen, I don't need that kind of negativity around here. I've had so mm. many of those. I don't know that I've had so many standstills even as I bring the fish in. Normally, and you know, there's an update, so who knows, but normally they kind of wear out. Now this may yeah. be 35 pound braid. I can't remember if I switched back or not. They definitely, normally when they're smaller, they do definitely tire out, I feel. Yeah. But when I had that diamond, I just knew because it just kept getting to a standstill. That's what I'm like, experiencing. This, this big. <laughs> big meal. I really, really hope it's a diamond. Because they would look be, cool. That would be nice. It's going to be are dark. They far the favorite. Although, don't they oh. have like artificial lighting in the photo? I think they do. Mm, don't think so. I might just watch you because I'm not catching anything and just see how this turns out. We can run back after this and get the spinner. Ooh. Still getting standstills. Bend on that rod, though. Other than the fact that it's a little... You can tell the, the way that they've... Like, designed the bend is segmented. You can sometimes see those segments mm -hmm. kind of working... Smell like pudding. Not properly in unison, but it's it's fairly well done for the, the line... Or the rod bend. That's, that's something that can always be improved upon later down the line. That's... True, for sure. I think if you just have more segments, it probably solves that. Yeah, makes sense. He's 50 feet away, and I just gotta stand still again. Mm, that's, that's a good sign. Come on, lad. Yeah. Oh, I really hope this is a <laughs> Come on! He's right under my right wrist, so I can't see how big it is. Fingers crossed. What? He's why? 20 pounds. Why is it so small? I've heard that a lot of I'm times, confused. unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hang dear. on. What size line do I have? It may be the 35 pound test, but they've definitely changed it. No, this is 55. The heck? That's kind of a positive. No, this is... It was 38. But I still shouldn't have had standstills like that, so they must have made the trout weigh... Beefier? You just like warped. I was trying to sit down, but I forgot what the bottom was. There we go. Where am I taking us? Uh, we can fast travel back and get the spinner if you want. I mean, sure. What has happened? Damn! So they actually well, like fight now. They don't just is here. yeah fight. What's what and who's I like it. I, picked out I a nice like spot that, for honestly. Fishing, so catch you there. Because I always felt like they were too easy. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't have been able to just, a bit. just bring in a Evening. huge in lake trout without any interest. struggle. So what I have is the, not like the spinner baits, but just the spinners. 
Right. Hook size one, it's almost got like a rainbowy spoon. This little beauty activates a special sense organ oh, in the yeah. fish called the lateral mind system. system. You put your clothes back on, distance. which is good. Pretty neat, huh? Could be yours. <laughs> oh, this game. <laughs> Why is what's her name so? Everyone starts somewhere, but anyone who's <laughs> I don't like. I guess she she this moves her head and looks at you. <laughs> She's like so gently staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. I'm moving away. Flip size one spinner. Right, let's try putting that on the board. Let's see if it's actually going to let me. This one. She wants your soul? As long as it's just my soul. Oh, I've got to change the entire setup. Hang on. I would agree. It seems that they are moving quickly and getting some things kind of better. I'm still, like, the lake trout fighting is good. The fish moving faster generally is good. They just have to fix the animations. A few years ago, I, I was do think in a business a million times. Something has to be done animals. about the rate this at which you can catch fish. Like, I don't think a lot of people are going to complain that they're catching too many fish, but it's probably a bit too much now. Why is it not letting me... There it is. Okay. Right, I has it. You has it. I has it. Excellent. Are we going back to where we just were? Yeah, I guess. I'm sitting in a boat. Cool. I and you were just doing constant here. retrieve, right? Honestly. Yep, letting it sink and just, I think, on three. I Who mean, turned off easier the sun? Than having... Yeah. It's easier than having to do the up and down thingy. For streaming or recording purposes, too, it doesn't make everyone seasick. I mean, I will admit to you, I have a slight headache, as per normal, and doing it up and down, I was like, oh dear. This is the end. <laughs> they still need to make it so you can, woo, okay, well, I can see that. <laughs> I was going to say they need to make it so you can, uh, oops, see when your friends get in your boat or jeep. Yes. Just a little icon showing, didn't PUBG do that? It was, there was an icon that showed, like, if each seat was occupied or not. I think that's how it was done. I have no idea. Never played PUBG. You weren't, like, a professional third-person shooter sniper? No. OG. No. I'm running out of terms. MLG. Not OG. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Not me. Mel dies from fish game. You wakes 220 yes. feet, that's lame. We'll try it anyway. Ooh. I hate that you can't use your headlamp while casted. I don't get that. Yeah, why? Why can't we use the headlamp? Hmm. I'm afraid of the dark. Blind I fishing? I want one of those... Blind fishing. <laughs> Do you know what I want? I've seen it in another game, and now I really want this as, I know, as a cosmetic thing, so it would be optional to buy, but I want it, personally. Are the glowing bass boats? What are they all about? They just look awesome. Glowing like, bass boats? Yeah. Some, like, I've got a game that's about bass fishing. Okay. And you go and you look at it, and there was pictures of dudes holding up trophy bass on these neon glowing boats, but like real pictures. Huh. And I was like, I want that. <laughs> that looks cool. <laughs> glowing see. like glow in the dark or like lit? Yeah, like neon lights. Yeah. Kind of a smart idea, to be honest. It looked awesome because they were all different colors. I have to send you a picture of it. I genuinely think that was cool. It would help in these situations where we're barely able to see the end of the rod. Yeah. Part of the tiny bookend. <laughs> <laughs> Just like this searing bright light. <laughs> <laughs> the glowing eyes of the bottom of the lake want you to come down. <laughs> oh. oh! I did have a strike there, briefly. I missed it. 
Tom. Did you miss it, or did you click and it just didn't set? I got it that time. I have no idea. It was one of the two. I was just wondering if they made it so it's actually a thing now where you can miss it. I don't know. It was one of the two. Maybe we'll see. <laughs> This one's coming in way too easy. Small guy. Must be. Oh, little bit of, little bit of fight there. Not much though. Just watch this be a juvenile or something. Now. I don't think I've had a juvenile lake trout yet. I've seen them and they're very cute. I think they look very sweet for some reason. <laughs> Are they still like several pounds? Yeah. They just kind of have puppy dog eyes. I don't know how to describe it. I saw someone post a picture of one. Hmm. And it just kind of looks like a puppy. <laughs> a water puppy. <laughs> that puppy makes no sense. Yeah, a water puppy. Smaller lures, that makes enough sense. Almost landed it. I'm curious to see, because you're using 55 pound braid or like the heaviest braid, I assume? Yep. Oh, it's a little silver one. They just look so cute when they're small. I don't know why. I can't even look far enough over. There is kind of like a lighting effect in the, in the uh, trophy yeah, screen thing. Yeah, like though. a soft incandescent light. They kind of just... It's like moonlight. Yeah. Interesting. I Ooh. must have been on something, because if I just cast and let it hit the bottom, it doesn't take my drag to 100. Yeah, you Hello. must have snagged on something. Yeah. Kind of neat. Which I don't think that was a thing before, was it? Not that I ever experienced anyway, and I did most of the time that I have in this game is doing exactly this. Yeah. Yeah. You and me both, I think, because we both got to the point where we could catch these and went, okay, best fit. These are the coolest things. Yeah. <laughs> I picked a terrible spot. I can't even get below 200 feet. Yeah, nice I'm boy. hitting 64 meters. Lame. That's what I get for driving. Lame. Can you tell, because you've got more experience with, like, real fishing. Can you tell me if the wiggling of the line as it's going down, it, does it really look like it does in game? Because it just doesn't look real to me. Coming off the you reel? See, yeah, you see like it, it's, it's going along the rod and then it's doing like that wavy motion, almost like a piece of hair in the wind. It's kind of like that, but not... Because it's coming off of a circular thing, so it's already kind of... I don't know how to describe that, but it's it's got that memory in the line, particularly right. uh, like some line has worse memory than others, but it you'll see it come off in that circular bit. But especially as you're casting deeper, the weight of the lure usually straightens it out kind of more quickly than this makes it look. Yeah, it just looked odd to me, and I thought well, I've I've not got very much real life fishing experience at all. So I wasn't sure if that was just me thinking, oh, that looks weird or what. Yeah, it's it's kind of... Like, it's close, I guess, but it's not. Right. Okay. We both got one. <laughs> no, I just got a T-Rex again, actually. Oh. <laughs> Rawr. Big old T-Rex fish. Imagine if there were, like hidden sturgeon or something in these lakes as oh. like a 0.1% spawn? I would never stop fishing on this game. That's the thing. That's the thing, right? That's what draws me back to hunting games over and over and over again is to try and find, to try and find great ones, whatever it is, that really low percentage chance thing. That's what keeps me going. If they add something like that to this, I'll keep coming back time and time again because I want to catch or shoot the really rare things. You yeah, know? that's that's kind of what we're missing now, I feel, is the... Yeah. The you-never-know-what's-out-there feeling because once you've caught all 12 diamonds, you kind of do know what's out there. 
Right, exactly. Exactly that. And I've seen some really cool pictures of like fish with rare colors, like melanistics and albinos. Yeah. So it's like, I'd like to see that represented in game. Like I even saw a piebald, I think it was flounder. He was wild looking. It literally was piebald. Especially coming from EW, you expect them to do those types of things. They've been doing that, I don't know, for over 10 years in classic anyway. They didn't have rares at the very beginning, but pretty early on. Yeah. And I just think, yeah, as soon as you catch something that's got a low percentage chance, then everyone wants to try and go and find that one thing, and it just adds to the excitement and the hype of you don't know what you've hooked, especially with something like the lake trout. Imagine if they had, like, an albino lake trout, and it's 0.001% chance that you catch one. Yeah. You know, because you can't see them, every single time you get a bite, you're going to feel that excitement. I think that's what should be replicated more, like, regardless of rarity or whatever. Just, there's too many fish you can see from the surface, I feel. Yeah, I've heard that comment a lot, and I do agree with it. There's not many fish that are just going to be chilling right at the top. No, about the only times I can ever recall anything like that, bass spawning, they're right close to the shore. So you can usually see them at the surface and, you know, fish jump out of the water. The fact that they do that in the game is fine. But you don't uh, see course. them just swimming around six inches below the surface unless you throw food out or something, really. Right, exactly. And it kind of takes away that mystery and trying to find the right spots, I feel, because you can just see everything. So you can go to most of the spots and see within a few seconds if you're in a good spot or not. It almost based off of the size of the fish. Yeah, it almost does become more efficient to boat around and every 500 meters stop, spin in a circle, and if you don't see anything huge, just go elsewhere. Yeah, it, exactly that. And I feel like that's something again that they could improve just by changing the visibility of the water. Yeah, I think hey, it wouldn't be so bad if it was just kind of like a bit of a blur under the water, because that's normally what it is. Like, when we yeah, fish in the creek exactly. here, the biggest thing is you'll see a white flash, and you can kind of make a bit of a determination based on the size of that flash, but there's no, like, oh, hey, there's a fish. I can see exactly where it is. It's just when they... Because they're camouflaged from the top. They That's why they don't just get plucked out of the water by birds and stuff all the time. Yeah, that's the whole point of many of their, you know, their patterns and their colors is to hide. Yeah, exactly. I think they could, they could really take advantage of just fish being fish and not make it so arcadey with them being on top. Like, I don't mind the arcadey feel of like catching a bunch of fish, even though I haven't caught a darn thing since we came back out here. <laughs> that's fine. But being able to see them just takes a lot out of it because you already know yeah. what you're probably about to hook. Exactly that, and that's the whole thing about fishing, is you don't know what you're going to hook, and that's why it's exciting. Yeah. I agree with that as yeah, well, I Vic agree. Victor, if there was some kind of very rare fish in the depths. The, the re requirement of skill as well, like, in the early times playing this game, like, when I would first make videos and stuff, I was always very careful to try, try to make sure my rod was exactly in the right spot, like to counteract the tension the fish was putting on the line and stuff, and ultimately you realize, like, as is, that's not very important, like at all. So there, yeah. is, there is almost no skill other than like, oh, tension high, stop reeling. That's about it right now. Like that yeah, mechanic much. needs expanded. Yeah, and I feel like, how to say it? that every fish and how they bite and how they react is too similar. Yeah, we were kind I of led to believe they'd be more, more different. For sure. Right, exactly. Especially if you read through, like, the guide book thing. It, like, catfish biting at night. Well, most of the catfish I've caught have been during the day. And I've gone after catfish at night only to not really catch anything. Yeah, that, so, that's roughly been my experience as well. And then, like, uh, what? It's Channel Cats in this game, isn't it? Yes, Channel Cats. Them being aggressive and hitting, like, a lot of frog lures and stuff, I'm sure they'll do it, but 
generally, most catfish, other than like Wells catfish, are very just like almost bottom feeder smell for their food that's just laying there. They don't tend to do a lot of aggressive hunting. Right, exactly. And that was my problem is, like I said, I've not got a lot of fishing experience, but I did know about catfish behavior. So I was going for, you know, sinking, trying to get my my bait right down to the bottom, going for smelly bait, and, you know, really trying to work for what catfish are normally like. But I found that the most success I've had with catching catfish is driving around on the boat and looking for them on the surface of the water. Yep. And they will, like... And then use a spinnerbait. <laughs> the only time that I've ever seen catfish near the surface is at my friend's pond. If they would throw, I think it was cat food out, or dog food or something, then all the catfish come up to the surface to try to eat that, because they hear it, they smell it, but... Makes sense. Other than that, it, they are, like, down in the depths. And the one thing they got right, when you hook them, they don't surface. They do stay down low, and that's what they do in yeah. real life. They try to, like, bass will come up to the surface and jump out of the water and try to shake the hook. Catfish stay low and, like, try to, I guess, escape to the depths. I don't know how to yeah. say We're that. Yeah, retreating, basically. Yeah. That part's well done, but there's just, there's just more fish behaviors they could simulate, which I imagine they will eventually. That's maybe one of the challenges of adding more fish. We already have 12 that are a little too similar to each other, but I think it'll get yeah. there. That is definitely a thing. But yeah, I totally agree. I think with time, similar to Call of the Wild, right? We've seen things, well, I say Call of the Wild, but The Hunter Call of the too. Wild. Yeah, it's, we've seen so much progression, whether it's animals getting new models, animals having new behaviors like the Kakakele. Yeah. Whether it's, you know, any, anything, anything you can think of, it's improved gradually over time. So I would expect you know, this to be a pretty similar thing. But the more we see, the more we see improvements. And it just gets better as it continues. That's what I'm hoping anyway. That's why I keep coming back to the game and trying to, you know, keep giving it attention and all that. Because I think it likely will get there. Yeah, I do agree. I do agree with you. Yeah, well, one again. A bigger one. I'll actually yeah. just bring this in super quick then, because... We're going to get ready to wrap up, but I shall hopefully watch you bring this in. It's... We're at a standstill. Ooh. Oh, 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 no. A bit, ooh, a bit more tension on the line. Yes, hello. This Big is going to be bigger than a silver, probably. <laughs> that has since changed at a three year mostly out running fish. They can, they can catch up to a six now. Only recently did they change that, but that's been a big plus. The bald look is hot on Mel. <laughs> That's a, ooh. Ooh, even went into the red there for a moment. It makes her oh. more, is it? Is it still aerodynamic in water? What the, There's oh god. Ooh. That did, that did a thing. That didn't look right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just here to oh, so no. don't get fine. <laughs> that really breaks your rod. <laughs> Hydrodynamic, yeah, it makes her swim faster when she dives in That's to get the, get the biggins. Yeah, I just go straight in after my fish. I don't know why we're bothering with rods and reels. I just go straight in. I know someone that has at least three five to six pound trout, 20 to 24 inches. None of them were caught with rod and reel, which is entirely <laughs> illegal. Smell like pudding. Thank you. Jumping in. Catching them with their hands, and they have them mounted like the, at a tax nervous. I'm like, I, whatever, I guess, but that's like not the point. This rod, though, I know it's doing some crazy stuff. Yay! That's how you know I'm it's a high quality rod. Tension. Oh, yeah, if it can just bend over on itself completely. <laughs> made of the highest quality fiberglass. Noodling? No, no. it's made out of rifles, remember? Oh, yeah, old rifle parts. Yeah. Not noodling, Danny? I still don't get that. I, maybe the handle. That's about the only thing that can make sense. Or maybe the metal in the eyes. That's just maybe. an odd thing. Like, I get what they're going for, but... 12 meters, 11, 10. Looks like the switch my grandma used to beat me with. <laughs> <laughs> Where's fish? I want He's to coming. see fish. 
eight, seven, six. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Woo! Gold. What's he weigh? Fifteen point five five, which this is would be thirty three. Yeah, my diamond was like eighteen, wasn't it? Yeah, you had a really big diamond. Hey, it was alright. I've seen bigger now. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, that was a better fight from a gold. Yeah, I think that's the important thing. Like, it's even like a decent gold still puts up a fight as opposed to just yeet it up off the bottom, basically. Right, exactly that. Exactly that. Well, that was good. Yeah, good note to end on. I should have probably been on Twitch looking for someone to raid, but I was too busy staring at the <laughs> at the <laughs> surface of the water trying to see it come out. <laughs> Let's see. I Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Ooh, Joe is playing Planet Zoo. Maybe we can send a raid over that way. I missed that adding game. adding to that. Are they? Yes. With the Ooh. next update, and I am very hyped for it. I'm gonna have to start playing again if they're doing that. Yeah, they're only adding up to three species. Like, it's Nyala, Springbok, and Pronghorn. But I think they'll add it to more. Yeah, it's a start. In future. Yeah, it's a good start. I'm gonna end with this. Danny says, Planet Zoo? More like target-rich environment. <laughs> 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 oh, well done. <laughs> All right. We shall send a raid over there. Thanks to Mel for joining us today. I don't know if someone, one of the mods can do the Mel command for her YouTube channel again. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Yeah, it was a good time. We should do that again when we get back from West Virginia. Maybe we can do another Fishin stream. Oh, yes. We or at should. least when they do that uh, update that's apparently coming soon. Yes, definitely. Definitely. All right. On that note. Thanks, everyone, for watching today. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the support. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. I believe we're going back to Revan Tuli Coast.